a bit of a wake-up call, you know, like um, when they talk about the swimming uh, carnival, you know, like I just thought that my job was just to go there and to support the kids who are doing the swimming. So when I came in and that incident happened, it was a serious wake-up call for me. It happened somewhere here, somewhere here. There's that fear. Like for me, that's what I'm just trying to get over, you know, the fear, that's what I'm battling with. Pushing you over, so you feel like you're being pushed into the water. See, this is the feeling that I had yesterday, yeah. and yeah. I, yeah, I'm trying it's, to... It's just, just put it underneath. Hi, my name is Millie Volpe. I am the manager of the Dysart Swim Centre in Central nice Queensland. Oh, come on, Dean. Currently, we are doing adult swim sessions. It is hard to comprehend when you're naturally a swimmer, but that's the biggest gift you can give someone, I think. Sometimes teaching them how to swim opens up their world. <laughs> I'm, I'm coming, I'm coming, <laughs> I'm on. I we went to a very tiny bush primary school and didn't learn to swim. I wanted to um, set an example for my kids that you could set a challenge for yourself and turn up every day and keep chipping away at it. And, I had a lot of challenges along the way and worked with Millie and she helped me correct my stroke. I've got all sorts of swimmers coming to me now, so triathletes, people that have swum in the past that just want to get that, that love for swimming back again, and then those that have never actually been near water. Okay, ready, so let's go lean backwards. Their enthusiasm is so infectious because they're, they're that scared they can't even walk in the water to now floating and the reasoning for them to join was they, they really want to be a part of Australian culture and swimming is a very big part of that and they realise that. I come from a landlocked country, uh, we don't have a lot of water. I'm a Zimbabwean, I was born in Mazoe. We came to Australia in 2018, then I came to Dysart. So my name is Adam Kelvin Mende. I'm here in Dysart and I'm doing some swimming lessons. I never learned to swim when I was in Zim, but I'm so excited to be doing these lessons here in Dysart. Both I'm a teacher by profession. Um, we had a swimming carnival that we did. So when the kids finished swimming, it was uh, like they were just doing it for fun. The teachers would go there and, you know, swim. So I forgot that I did not know how to swim. Then I went to the deep end of the pool. Yeah, somewhere here. Then I was so excited, I jumped into the pool. Okay, I forgot that this was the deep end of the pool. So I just found myself going down and going under and under. I had to fight, you know, to get myself out of the water. So that's what happened. Then I realized that this is a serious thing. I need to learn to swim. Otherwise, you know, you never know in life. You just never know. It sometimes can take six years to teach someone to actually swim. When you're coming to me as an adult, it, it does take time. I, I, I would say, you know, close to three years before you can get them to be confident yep. to hop in water on their own. <laughs> <laughs> just let it go, trust it. Come on, you can put your head under. No, just that I drink some water there. Oh. <laughs> yeah, so that's... You know, you feel like, okay, what is going to hold me up? What is going to make me float? You feel like you're just going to go down and, you know, there's that fear. Like for me, that's what I'm just trying to get over, you know, the fear, that fear of feeling like when I'm drowning or like I'm just going down, it's, that's what I'm trying to work on for me personally. It's, it's more to do with the fear of water. Getting myself under the water and staying there for a bit of time, I think that's what I'm doing very well. These other things, they're still a work in progress. Wow. <laughs> Woo! Oh, yeah. You're already getting there. That's awesome. Alright, so we're going to take this away now. So that's what I was saying. I know there's a lot of water around Australia. Everywhere you go, there's water, there's water. So it's good to be in water, get used to the water. For me, in a community of this size, I think it's great just to offer that for, for adults because there actually isn't too much around here you can do sport wise as well. I did my 60 laps in 60 minutes, and then um, Millie said, I said to Millie, what's next? And she, and she said to me, it's time to learn butterfly. Every adult should be able to swim. You should be able to swim, especially when you're here in Australia, because um, your kid is going to miss out if they can't swim, and you're also going to be missing out a lot. And besides that, you know, like, it's something that is good for your growth. You know, like, for me, like, this thing of having, trying to, you know, get over my fear of water, I think it's good for me. That's why we do this job. I mean, that's the main reason, is you want people to, to, to love water, have that 
that enjoyment and be relaxed in it. And go. Because there's so much you can do with water, <laughs> especially in Australia, so it's the best thing. Go, 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 go. Kick, 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 kick.